So we're going we're to keep working with number lines today, um, or excuse me, <laughs> inequalities today. Um, you'll see some number lines, uh, but some of these might look familiar, but I just want to keep exposing you to different types of questions so you'll see how they look on a real test. So looking at this first one, it says, which statement can be expressed using the inequality below? So we can clearly see that um, my circle's open, and I can see that it's shaded towards the numbers that are greater than. Um, so let's look at our answer choices. So A says the doctor told Mr. Davison the amount he can lift must be less than 60 pounds. So since this is less than, and my numbers are clearly getting bigger, um, A is definitely not going to be the right answer. All right, so let's look at B. Mrs. Eugene needs at least 60 more dolls to complete her collection. Remember, at least was one of those tricky words that can be confusing because you see the word least, and you think it's going to be a less than sign. But it's not because, remember, at least is like the roller coaster where you have to be at least 60 inches tall to ride the ride, which means you can be 60 or more. So for this question right here, at least um, the shading is in the right direction, but at least it would mean it includes 60. So 60 would be a number that could be an answer. And since this circle is open, showing that 60 is not an answer, it cannot be B. C says Mr. Finch has over 60 different types of flowers in his garden. So over 60 would be anything bigger than 60, which is definitely what this number line is showing. So C is looking right the right answer, but let's just double check with D. Ms. Guilford would bring $60 or less to the fair. So since it would be less than it would be going this way. So yes, it is definitely going to be C. All right. Number two, in the United States, a citizen must be 18 years or older to serve in the military, which inequality represents this requirement. So 18 or older. So it says you can be 18 or older. So that would be 18 or greater than. So you can be equal to 18 or you can be greater than 18. So it have to be that one right there. All right, it couldn't be C because C doesn't have the line under it. So this one is strictly saying you have to be older than 18. But this one is saying you can be 18 or older. Uh, number three, to attend a middle school, students must be at least 11 years old. So at least 11 means you are 11 or older. So if it's 11 or older, um, this says less than, this says greater than, this says less than or equal to, and this one says greater than or equal to. So greater than or equal to would be right because that means you could be 11, 12, 13, 20, uh, anything that's 11 or bigger. All right, let's try number four. A washer and a dryer have a combined weight of at least 530 pounds. The weight of the washer is 215 pounds. Which inequality correctly describes the weight of the dryer? So for this one, um, first of all, we have to figure out how much is that dryer. So if the washing machine is 215, I just got to do some quick subtraction. So 210. So the dryer is 315 pounds. Um, so let's just go back and double check what it says. Combined weight of at least 350. I mean, excuse me, 530. So you can be 530 or more. So if the washer is 215, that means the smallest that this dryer can be is 315. So it can be 315 or more. Okay, so it'd have to be 315 or more, which would be 315 um, greater than or equal to. So it'd have to be B. Okay, so this keyword right here tells me that, hey, it's okay if it's bigger than 530. It just can't be anything less than that. Okay, Hannah wants to go on a road trip to Jacksonville, Florida. For every gallon of gas, her car travels in miles. She will travel 500 miles to Jacksonville. Gas costs $3.65 per gallon. Hannah wants to drive fewer than eight hours per day. Which inequality best describes this situation if H represents the number of hours in a day? So this would definitely be uh, some division. So, um, well, if we were actually solving it. Um, but we're not actually solving it. We, we just want to know the inequality that matches this statement right here. So it says fewer than. So it's fewer than eight hours per day. So she doesn't want to drive eight. She wants to drive less than eight. So it would have to be D. Okay. So a lot of people, when they see the money and all this up going up here, they think you're going to have to solve for something and do some division or multiplying. Um, but this was strictly just an inequality question. So make sure you're double checking to not make the question more difficult than it is. Uh, number six, by company policy, the plumber must work fewer than 40 hours. Which inequality best describes this situation? So fewer than 
would have to be less than. Um, it was in our column for those, well, it was one of those words for less than. Um, so the less than sign would be right here. So it would have to be that one right there. Okay. Mike's yard is less than, and then twice is important too, twice as big as Randy's yard. Which expression best expresses the size of Mike's yard? So it has to be less than, and then it says twice as big. Um, so less than, so let's ignore this one because that's equals two. This one is greater than, and this one is just a variable y, so that can't be right either. So it'd have to be a, but just to double check y, first of all, it's got the less than sign, so we can check that part off. And then remember twice was another word for saying, hey, you're multiplying by two, and I know that two and x are multiplying right here, so it has to be a. Number eight, care graph the inequality shown. Which situation could be modeled by CARES inequality? So in other words, which sentence right here is going to match this inequality, this uh, number line up here? So A says CARE needed more than 10 people to sign up for her basketball team. Um, so more than 10, so obviously that would be greater than. So this is shading in the right direction. But what you got to be careful about is that it says, it just says more than. So therefore, um, more than would be, has to be bigger than 10. It can't include 10. And since this is a closed dot, it's including 10, so therefore this one cannot be right. Um, letter B, there are less than 10 pieces of candy. Less than would be going in this direction, so therefore B cannot be right either. Letter C, Kara cannot play more than 10 hours of video games each week. So once again, more than, it means greater than, um, which means it cannot include 10, so therefore C cannot be right. All right, and then letter D, Kara must work at least 10 hours to earn enough money. So at least would be 10 or more. So at least is one of those where the circle is filled in and it's shaded to the right. So D would have to be the right answer. All right, number nine, um, which inequality did Dave graph? So we're looking at this number line right here. I can tell that my circle's open. So I'm going to go ahead and cross off this one and this one, because since the circle is open, it can't have a line underneath it. Now I just need to look. It is shaded to the right, so my arrow needs to point to the right, so it has to be A. Okay. Number 10. Which inequality is represented? I know these numbers are super small, um, but hopefully you can see it. First of all, my circle is closed, so I know I have to have a line underneath my sign. So I'm going to cross these out because they don't have lines underneath them. Now I'm looking at, okay, it's shaded to 8, 9, and 10, which means it's bigger, which means it's greater than. So that would have to be D right here. All right, uh, which real-life situation models the inequality? So it looks like we've got, it can be equal to 25, but it can't be bigger than 25. So the speed limit downtown is 25 miles per hour. So if the speed limit is 25, if we're really following the rules, it can, you could go 25, but you can't go over. So this one's looking pretty good. So I don't want to cross it off just yet, but let's just check the other answers to make sure. The weight limit for a bridge is less than 25 tons. Since it just says less than, less than means that it can't be equal to 25. So therefore, since this dot is colored in, this can't be the right answer. C, a child must be taller than 25 inches. So if it's taller than 25, it means it has to be bigger than 25. Um, so a couple of things wrong with this one. It couldn't include 25, so this circle could not be shaded in. And also, these are showing less than 25, so it can't be that one either. D says a citizen must be 25 years old to run for Congress. So it has to be 25. That would be greater than 25, and that cannot be right either. So yes, A is our correct answer, even though, let's face it, people go a little faster than what the speed limit says. All right, number 12. To make an A as his math grade, Justin must earn a score of 90 or higher. So 90 or higher on his math test. So which inequality is going to match this? So it's okay if he makes a 90. So if it's okay if he makes a 90, then that means that I can have a line underneath my sign. But it says 90 or higher. So 90 or more. So 90 or greater than. So that would be that right there. Okay. Two more. Um, Alex collects marbles and his friend collects twice the number of marbles he collects. If the sum of Alex's and his friend's collection is more than 18, 
which number line represents the number of marbles Alex collects. So Alex collects X, his friend collects twice as many, and they need to, well, there'd be more than 18. So this is gonna be, you combine your like terms, and I'm gonna get X is greater than six. So therefore, there is, it just says more than, so there's no equal to, so I cannot have a closed end circle, so it can't be these two. Um, and since my sign is greater than, um, it would have to be going this direction, so that would have to be D. Okay, that was kind of a two-step problem. All right, last one. Susan bakes X number of cookies, and her sister bakes 24 more cookies than she does. If the number of cookies Susan and her sister bakes is less than 70, which inequality represents? Okay, so I've got Susan making X, and then I've got her sister bakes 24 more cookies. So whatever she makes plus 24, and it's going to be less than 70. So now I combine my like terms. X plus X is 2X. Okay, I'm going to subtract 24. Okay, those go away. So I'm going to move this up for you. All right, if I subtract this, it becomes, sorry for that bill. And if I divide by two, I get, sorry, I'll move over here. So X is less than 23. Once again, I know I can't have a line underneath it because it just says less than. It doesn't say anything about being equal to 70. It says it has to be less than. So therefore, this line, uh, this uh, sign does not have a line underneath it. So it has to be D. Okay, um, so here's a, just a couple examples that I gave you. Hopefully they're making sense to you, but if not, um, feel free to shoot me an email and we can go over any that you need to double check on.